you there. This is Landers and Shannon Scott, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you your reading for what cancer needs to know for November 2024. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Please also visit JanetSky.com. You can book a reading there. Also check out, I'm going to be doing uh, my, um, my retreats and certifying people and different things. Check it out. It's on JanetSky.com. Um, joke of the day. Why didn't the Washington, D.C. have a nativity scene this year? Because there were no wise men. There's your joke. All right. You've been feeling stuck. Now, cancer, you have to remember, you came out of, you're just, you're being affected by that Capricorn because it's your opposite in a way that you're, there's financial gains. That's what's going on. You're going to see it. It's going to be like, it's almost like it's going to snowball. Okay. Um, now you're feeling stuck and you're unhappy. See, look at You're feeling stuck and you're unhappy. But there's an ending coming with something new. You will have good news this month. There's very good news coming to you this month. Now there's something a little hidden, which I find interesting. However, it will, but that is whole success at home and family. So there's something that's going to be, it could also be a spiritual journey that, that that card can represent on occasion. Now, this is an ending. Coming full circle, ready to start something new. You're being blessed by the four, the four uh, principalities, by the four angels. And it's from your past. It's happened before or it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It, it'll be, it's, and it's a new start. So even though, so it's probably a person or a situation. Maybe maybe it's an old skill that you had that you needed to regress to get done. But it's a new start because it opens up a new door. Okay. So just remember that. All right. Now, there's going to be a lot of verbal, commun uh, uh, written communication, excuse me. A lot of written communication going back and forth. So this could be snail mail this could be texts this could be you know somebody writing you something you know it's you know any of it. it can be any of it but it's written and it's gonna be a message coming to you now you have to let go of something something's weighing you down and you're worried like you're you're not happy about it so you're I don't know if you're you're gonna come up with an idea though to solve it all right this is you know you're chained to something are you chained to your job are you chained to, are you chained to something that you really, you're feeling stuck about it. Something in your life has got you stuck or it's dragging you down. You know, are you drinking too much? Are you, you know what I'm saying? There's something that's gotten you, but you're going to be doing a new start and you've got to start over again. All right. So this could not just be a financial. This could also be emotional, spiritual. It's all of it combined. But there is good news coming, so it's going to give you that new start. They're telling you to be careful of everything, of, of money, kind of keep an eye on it, kind of be stingy with your money, but also be stingy with your emotions. Don't get upset because you're going to solve your own problem. Okay, this is you coming up with an idea or scheme to solve your problem. All right, so just remember that. All right, let me show you the cards. You know, I know it's been a rough. Uh, Capricorn and, and Pluto, but it's coming out in the middle of November. Just be prepared. You're going to be shaking a little bit, and it's it's not a bad one. It's not a bad thing either because there's good news coming, okay? So see, look at you're You're stuck. You're feeling stuck. You got to let go of something. Maybe that's what's holding you back so that you can come up with the ideas, you can't go forward, and you can have come to an ending so you're ready for the new start. Just a thought, okay? This is good news. And this is this is a written message. So you're gonna get a contract maybe or something? I don't know. Something's good. So here I go go with my other deck, and this is the psychic tarot. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, they fell out. So that means that that's okay. Fulfillment of wishes. This is something this is but you're having a wish granted of some sort. And look at your accelerated motion. You're really gonna speed up, just like I said. You're gonna speed up here about mid-November. Now, here's an interesting one. Love begins. Love for self, love for others, love re rekindling love. Something to do with love. So you just remember that, all right? And it's also a one. 
See, whenever they're, you pay attention to the numerology. The numerology is also um, very important because like this is the end there, with a new start. This is, I got a new start, one. I got quite a few ones here. Ones and twos, which is important because that's the beginning of something. So, all right, think about it. All right, and go ahead and do it. It's a good, this looks like a good reading for you because you're finally getting unstuck. Okay, blessings to you. Make it a great day and help you make the planet a better place.